Welcome to Workflow 4, Ending a Patient Visit. In this workflow, we will review how to submit billing, how to review or assign tasks and message staff, and how to decipher between telehealth or in-office visits. Once you have seen your patient and you are finished with the patient for the day, you will then want to, of course, bill your patient instruct staff on the next tasks under message messages with this patient and um, potentially rebook the patient. So in order to do this, we will go in and first of all, finish a visit with our patient by going into their encounter. We've done all of that we would like to do with this patient. So we are going to move over here to the money sign sign, save, and bill. Click it. This will bring us to our billing screen. We assume our patient has MSP. Our name should pop up as the physician. The service date will be today's date. And now also your age codes for billing will auto-populate. If this is an in-office visit with your patient, you will simply click the office visit. Choose your diagnostic code of choice and continue. This, lets, this gives us an overview that this patient that is over the age of 80 has had an in-office visit and they were here for general symptoms. Now that this looks good, we may click save bill and this patient status turns to blue, which shows that we've finished our entry and we've billed it, it is now a complete visit. I'm going to add a new appointment here. I've decided I'd like to call this patient in. So I've added them to my day. I'm going to go into their e-chart. And I, as a physician, I'm going to create a tickler which in other words is a message to call, recall this patient. Anytime we add new information to a chart, we wanna hit the add or plus sign. So here I'm going to add a tickler to this patient's chart. I'm going to make sure I have the right patient. I am now going to type what I need, ask patient to come in, TCI. We have two options. If I hit submit and exit, this tickler will submit to the patient's chart and to my ongoing tickler. I may also choose the option of writing it to the encounter. Patient to come in, I must pick who I'm assigning it to. This can be your MOA. Um, whoever you want to assign submit and write to encounter. And now that tickler also shows up in the note, patient to come in. Once the patient has come in, you may click the word tickler to view the ticklers and you may complete them. This patient has shown up for uh, on a, another visit, so I'm gonna complete this tickler. If I would like to then go back and double check the status of any previous ticklers, I can actually move up here those would be my active ticklers, which are now none. If I click this, I can see my completed ticklers by creating a report. There are the ticklers that I have completed. I will now X. And once I refresh my patient's chart, the tickler bar is now cleared. If I would like to send another kind of a message to staff, I may X out of here and I may go up to my message area at the top by clicking message. I may now send a message to my staff by composing a message, click. I would have my staff members listed here on the left side, and now I can send them a message. And then once I have finished my message, I would choose who I send it to. So in this case, I will send it to an Oscar user. We go, I'll check the stellar staff and I will send my message. And then that will go into the messenger. 
and I will exit out of this box. Now, if I would like to see um, any ticklers listed for me, I simply will click the word tickler and the ticklers will show up. And same with messages. If I click the word messenger, any messages for me will come up. Um, we will also want to know how to um, tell between a telehealth appointment and an in-office appointment. So when you are booking an appointment, uh, you click the time. We type in the name of the patient. Click the word search. Now we can put that this is a telehealth visit and add the appointment. And so now this helps us when we're determining um, our day, which ones are telehealth and which ones are simply booked appointments for patients. This way we can also do video visits with our patients if that's something you would like to do. Uh, once again, we could just change this to a video. You would then um, send the link to the platform of your choice and you could have a video visit with your patient. That now completes workflow four.